I'm going to show you how to read a text file with PowerShell and we're going to use the get content commandlet. I'm going to assign this dollar text file variable to the path to my text file and then we're going to execute this commandlet get content with a parameter of path and then the text file path there. So we execute that and it shows the contents of the text file to the screen. We're going to put the contents of that text file using the get content commandlet into a variable and here we're going to sign get content to dollar a so and that content so that text file is in dollar a dollar a is an array of strings and each element of that array is a line of that text file just like you would with any array you can get the count see for example here this says dot count is 10 there's 10 lines in that text file there's 10 elements in that array. Since it's an array, we can address each line with a bracket number and a bracket. So here we've got $a bracket 3 bracket, and that's going to show us the third element of this array or the third line of that text file. You can also act upon each line of that text file, each element of that array, by piping the variable through a for each. So here we're doing $A piped out through for each, and I'll execute that as a demo. This particular demo outputs each line to the screen. So some other interesting uh, parameters on get content is total count. Total count will give you some lines from the beginning of the text file. For example, this will get you the first two lines from that text file, and the equivalent to the end of the text file is dash tail. So the dash tail parameter will get you the last so many number of lines from that. So for example, say you have a log file that is continuously being updated and you want to continuously see the end of that log file, then you would use the dash wait command. So I have a little script here that will add lines to that demo file. And if we run this line here, we can see that it's continuously monitoring this file for new lines being added to the end. That's get content. Get content, as I said, is great for getting the contents of a text file into a variable. The problem is that that variable is going to be in memory the whole time, and if you're working with very large files, then that might be a problem because you're going to be taking up too much memory. In that case, you might want to use something else called read lines. Readlines is a method in the system.io.file class. That's from .NET Framework 4. This is an example of how to iterate through this file using the readlines method. We can call out the readlines method by specifying bracket system.io.file bracket, and that's the class, colon, colon, to call out the method read lines and then you see here we have parentheses then the text file path and then close parentheses and so that'll let you reference that text file through .NET and I'll execute this just to show you what it does and it's going to output the contents of that example file to the screen that is get content to read a text file into PowerShell and that's also the read lines method for very large files.